I don't care how many hours you've poured into Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Platinum. I guarantee you have never seen this dialogue before. Most people have no idea this exists, and unlocking all of it requires thousands of hours of grinding just to have a random chance to see it. Most of this dialogue isn't documented anywhere on the internet, so I decided to start researching this over a year ago. Pokemon Platinum and Heart Gold Soul Silver feature the beloved Battle Frontier, an endgame area where you can tackle various difficult challenges to test your skills as a trainer. The Battle Frontier features the Battle Tower, the Battle Factory, the Battle Arcade, the Battle Castle, and lastly, the Battle Hall. The Battle Hall is the subject of our video today. It's a single or multi-Pokemon challenge where you accumulate as many wins as possible with those Pokemon with the hopes of defeating Hall Matron Argenta and obtaining the Gold Print. In the Battle Hall, you pick one of the Pokemon types and immediately battle a trainer with a Pokemon of that type. The types go from level 1 through 10. The higher the level, the stronger the Pokemon you face. Every time you accumulate 10 wins, you are awarded some battle points and get kicked out of the hall, and you can resume your challenge at any time. And like the other facilities in the Battle Frontier, winning requires a lot of luck. So yeah, Sandstream is up, so Sand is up, so my Sandville is active. I Earthquake, 25% chance to one-shot, do not get it. It goes for Crunch, 20% chance to defense drop me. You can see clearly it's probably not two-shotting otherwise. The Quick Claw activates, which is another 20%, and because of the defense drop, kills me before I can attack. And again, that's two crunches through Sand Veil too. So awesome. Good video game. Full disclosure, I love Pokemon Platinum. It's one of my favorite Pokemon games, and I look through the official strategy guide all the time. About a year ago, I noticed this interesting tidbit in the Battle Frontier section. This stuck out to me because it's something I'd never heard about before. You can have fans in the Battle Hall and only in the Battle Hall. According to the strategy guide, after obtaining high enough win streaks, you can unlock specific NPCs to cheer you on in the Battle Hall lobby. If the player is female, their major fan is Winston, and if the player is male, their major fan is Serena. They can be found in the Battle Hall lobby in various locations with varying dialogue. The player will also get visitors cheering them on in the lobby. If the player's total is over 500 in Pokemon Platinum, they will get the Professor's Assistant, aka your rival. If the record is over 1,000, the player will get the player character's mom, and over 10,000 will get you Professor Oak or Jasmine. In Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, if the record is over 1,000, the player will either get their rival or their character's mother, and over 10,000 will get Professor Oak or Whitney. And that's it. That's all the information I could find out about this on the internet. No screenshots, no videos, nothing. I immediately needed to see what the NPCs would say and how to unlock them. First thing I had to figure out was what the heck does total record even mean? From reading old game FAQs and Reddit posts, I learned that your total record is actually tracked by an NPC in the battle hall. This NPC gives you bonus battle points upon hitting certain milestones, all the way up to hitting a total record of 100,000 wins. You can also use the PC next to them to check records for specific Pokemon. It turns out total record is not just total wins, it's actually a combination of your highest win streaks across all Pokemon. So let's say you have a Garchomp that is a 50 win streak. Your total record then is 50. If you then get a 25 win streak with Charizard, your total record is now 75. If I then go on a 45 win streak with Garchomp, my total record is still 75 since I didn't beat Garchomp's previous best. While you can get a high total record just by winning a ton of battles in a row with a single Pokemon, there's basically no chance of that happening without cheating. The battle hall gets much more difficult once you obtain the gold print on a streak. Every battle is now level 10, and you are forced to cycle through types after every battle until you beat every type once. This means you'll eventually hit unwinnable matchups like Weavile for Garchomp, or you'll eventually just get unlucky and lose. Remember, unlocking Professor Oak, Jasmine, or Whitney as fans requires a 10,000 total win streak. To put in perspective how long that would take, assuming you're one-hit KOing every Pokemon, each 10 win streak takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds of Pokemon Platinum. It's a little bit faster in Heart Gold Soul Silver since you can disable the Pokemon entry animations. Multiplying that by 1000, it would take about 1388 hours. Additionally, since Pokemon like Bulbasaur can't easily get a high win streak, your real best strategy is getting a 10 to 30 win streak across almost every possible Pokemon. Once you factor in catching all these Pokemon, preparing them by giving them decent moves, getting them to level 30 so they can enter the hall, and time loss from failing due to getting randomly unlucky, Getting a 10,000 total win streak can take nearly 2,000 hours. I wasn't about to spend 2,000 hours on something that I wasn't even sure was real. The main source on the internet for this info was from a strategy guide from 2009 after all. I took a file that had a 500 total win streak and did not see any sign of my rival NPC in the hall. I didn't even know where these NPCs would spawn. Testing was fruitless, so I decided to do more digging. I came across a Reddit post by user Yamatama stating that they had been working on unlocking the 10,000 win total NPCs. After playing on and off for a couple months playing at 4x speed, they just barely managed to get 3,000 wins. Since they should have unlocked the 500 and 1,000 win fans, I sent them a message. I asked if they had seen either of these NPCs, where they showed up, and if their appearance was random. Luckily, I got a response the next day. They show up near the TV just above the PC. It is random when they show up. I think going in and out of the battle hall can make them show up once you have 1,000 points. 
If not, then just do a couple streaks because they show up fairly often. Finally, some concrete info. Big thanks again to Yamatama. I rigged a Pokemon Platinum save to have a Garchomp with a 10,000 win streak and began testing to see the NPCs for myself. First, I tried leaving and entering the hall as mentioned, but wasn't having any luck. Next, I decided to actually enter the battle hall and get some win streaks. 10 wins, 20 wins, 30 wins go by with no NPCs. At this point, I'm worried I need to use a fresh Pokemon or if I'm just doing something wrong. I go into the hall one more time, rack up another 10 wins, and when I return to the lobby, our character's mom is there waiting for us. Success! So at this point, I have confirmed that getting a win streak can cause a fan NPC to appear. I talked to my mom to check her dialogue, then went back in to try to get other NPCs. I then go on 10 more win streaks, that is 100 extra wins, with no luck. No fan NPCs spawned again. Defeated, I put the game down and try again the next day. I load back into the game and to my surprise, I got mom again after just one 10 win streak. I go back in and due to having a high win streak, accidentally lose and get kicked out of the hall. Interestingly enough, my mom is still there and is still facing to the right from when I talked to her earlier. It seems that losing in the hall doesn't actually reload NPCs in the area, whereas leaving and re-entering the building does. I then once again get another eight win streaks and have no NPCs spawn again. At this point, I still have no proof other NPCs exist and can't get them to reliably spawn at all. So I give up and put the project down for the next nine months. Earlier this month, I decided to revisit the project on a whim. I get a few win streaks and suddenly Lucas, the 500 win fan NPC appears. Getting someone new fills me with determination, so I do another eight win streaks and nothing happens. I start to think maybe Platinum is glitched, so I decide to try the same experiment in Soul Silver. To my surprise, after doing a couple win streaks, Whitney appears in the lobby. Whitney, being one of the 10k win NPCs, is basically one of the rarest NPC encounters you can get in Pokemon. Once again, I do a few more win streaks with no luck, so I figure maybe there's some sort of limit and you can only get one fan per day. I wait one day, try again, and get the HGSS rival, Ethan, to appear after a few win streaks. Definitely seems like there's some sort of limit, whether it be per day or per session. So now I have an actual method to grind and try to get all of the NPC encounters. Boot up the game, do win streaks until one appears, hope it's one you haven't seen yet, and then put the game down until the next day before trying again. Given how random the NPCs are, this still seemed like a very slow and tedious process, but I caught an incredibly lucky break while doing this. You see, in the Battle Frontier, when you finish a streak or session at a facility, the game will force you to save. One day after a win streak, I got Ethan to appear, then just turned off my game without doing anything else since it saved for me anyways. As I booted up the game the next day, to my surprise a new NPC spawned, which was my player character's mom. I soft reset a few times and eventually got a different NPC again. So it seems that whatever function is run internally to decide if a fan NPC shows up, happens both when you get a win streak and reload a save from a successful streak. Finally, I have an easy way to grind this. I just soft reset in both games until I got footage of every possible NPC encounter so I could share it with the world. I can confirm that the guidebook was not lying and that all these NPC encounters exist. Worth noting that they all seem similarly likely to spawn except for Jasmine and Platinum and Professor Oak and HeartGold SoulSilver. Those two NPCs seemed much rarer than the others to the point where I thought Oak wasn't even in HeartGold SoulSilver until I eventually just got lucky with it on stream. Oh, we did it. So without further ado, here is all the dialogue of every Battle Hall fan captured on my own Nintendo DS. Enjoy.
And that's it for this silly research project. I'm glad I was able to finally document this really bizarre feature that exists in three different Pokemon games. I have no idea why this feature exists, if they plan to do this for other facilities, or if they really expected anybody to ever get a 10k win total in the most tedious facility. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have some other projects I'm working on videos for, so if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.